okay so after the solution is completed so let's enter into the cfd post so just double tap on the results okay so now the model is get imported uh, we are interested to find so many factors like wall wipers and then uh, skin coefficients like that so first of all so all the results uh, now we are looking for in the format of charts okay so to create any charts in cfd post obviously you need a lines okay so how can i create the lines so in the previous cases also we have created uh, some lines so in this case it's an asymmetric problem uh, fluid uh, flows in a turbulent flow through a pipe so we have created so many lines uh, at the axis at the wall region at the outlet uh, to create any lines go to the locations uh, you'll have the option called a line just choose that uh, try to enter any name so i will give the name as so the first line is at the wall region pipe wall and click on ok uh, like always it asks you for the coordinates it's an absolute coordinate values uh, i'll enter the value of uh, 0 and 0 0.1 Point one and zero. So point number two eight. Zero point one and zero. So I'll give the sample as hundred and click on apply. Uh, you may be visible uh, an yellow color indication. So that means the line we have created a uh, pipe wall is uh, created in this region. So I'll zoom in. I'll show you that line. See, a uh, yellow color line is actually created over here. Okay, fine. So, remaining we need to create a two more lines at the bottom region and uh, at the outlet also. So, the same procedure lines, uh, I'll name it as a pipe center line just because it's located at the center right so pipe center line okay and give the factor so the first point is 0 comma 0 comma 0 and the second point is 8 comma 0 comma 0 i'll give the sample as 100 and click on apply okay now we'll have a line uh, from this point to this point okay so sim similarly i need a line over here also so in this region okay so to create that go to location again click on line i'll name it as a pipe outlet pipe outlet and say okay uh, i'll give the name as i mean point as 8 uh, 0. Point, okay, 0, 0 and uh, 8. So the length from here to here is a 0.1 mm, 0.1 meters. So I'll give a factor in Y. Okay, good. So once it is done, uh, the sample is obviously 100 and click on apply. Yes, now we have a line over here also okay so the next thing is to create the chart so first we'll find uh, wall y plus wall y plus so uh, we already discussed about wall y plus and why we find the wall y plus in our previous sessions also if you have still any doubts in the wall y plus so just refer or just study some uh, theories which is related to wall y plus it's very very important to find wall y plus uh, in any turbulence flow or in some laminar conditions also we studied about the uh, wall y plus it's just more related to the uh, velocity changes nearby the walls of the fluid okay so to create any charts click on this icon so here you'll have an icon to create charts uh, it asks you for the name so I'm interested to find the wall Y plus wall Y plus and say click on OK. So go to the data series and uh, change the name as a Y plus. 
okay so once you define the name uh, try to change the location so obviously the wall y plus we find nearby the wall so choose the pipe wall region and uh, go to the x axis and change the variable to x so and go to the y axis and change the variable to y plus that is wall y plus so as you define the x and y axis just click on apply okay so as soon as you click on apply you will get a wall y plus uh, region chart okay so the next we are interested to find the center line velocity so the velocity at the center line okay so obviously we know that at center line we have the maximum velocity so just click on this chart again and name it as a center line velocity and say click on ok so change the name as center line velocity so once you define that uh, the region the location you know that that is pipe center line and go to the x axis can choose in x for uh, x also and for y you can choose velocity u also so once you choose that just click on apply so you will get a velocity chart at the center line okay fine so the next thing we already added as a additional parameters that is coefficient of screen i mean skin friction so just click on the chart again and uh, i'll give the name as coefficient of skin friction so click on okay and i will name the factor as screen friction coefficient and the location is obviously the wall so nearby the wall we are interested to find the skin friction coefficient and in x tab i'll choose uh, x axis and in y obviously the variable is skin friction coefficient so unless you don't add this uh, skin friction coefficient in uh, flow and module it is not available over here so only you can get this uh, parameters or the variable when you added that thing as an additional parameter so okay i'll choose the skin friction coefficient and say click on apply so as soon as click on apply uh, you'll get a chart like this so you can see the fully developed value as a 0.008 over in this chart so we call it as a moody chart so the next thing we are interested to find the velocity profile at the outlet so or else you can say it as a outlet velocity so i'll name it as a outlet velocity say click on ok here also you can change the name as outlet velocity or velocity so the location you have to choose so obviously the pipe outlet so the x variable is so I'll choose x as y and y variable as okay so y variable as y and the next variable this velocity so once you define these things and click on apply okay so you'll get a profile like this so which shows the velocity changes in the outlet okay 
so the axial velocity is maximum at the center line and zero at the wall so, so it shows that there is no slipping boundary conditions over in the viscous flow right. so the next thing is uh, we can't directly or we can't blindly believe this results because uh, we only do this analysis for a one meshes right so we need to verify the results for the mesh variation so how can i do that uh, you can simply compare the results of a two different uh, sets of analysis uh, in the CFT post environment also. For that, uh, so if you want to view the previously created chart in the report uh, tab, so the below region, the wall y plus and then uh, uh, center line velocity and the coefficient of uh, skin friction. So everything is placed over here. So just every tap on the result to view the chart. Okay, so how can I compare this? So just close this thing. So once you close that, uh, we have the completed uh, turbulent flow analysis set. So I want to make a copy of this analysis. It's very simple, just right click. So you will have an option to duplicate this same system. So just duplicate it. It will take some time to duplicate the entire system. Okay, so once the duplicate is created, so I will change the parameter 3x turbulent flow or else 3x mesh, okay, so 2x mesh turbulent flow. So you can name anything, so for the difference I will name it as a x mesh turbulent so what i will do here is i can change the mesh configuration as the double the time of the previous mesh so in the previous case we use the configuration so we have a pipe like this so in the set uh, it is divided into a hundred segments and this region that is diametral region or a radial region uh, we split it as a three segments by using edge sizing but this time i'll change this configuration to 60 Okay, so instead of giving 30, I will change it to 60. So 60 cross 100 is used for this region. And that means, uh, well, comparing to the previous cases, we have more fine meshes. So that means uh, you'll get a more accuracy in the system. Like always, you can compare the both results on a single system. Fine. So first, I will double tap the mesh. I don't need to change any other things. Uh, like the boundary conditions i don't any disturb i don't do any disturbance at all so i only change the mesh configurations at all so once the mechanical or the meshing environment is opened so all you need to do here is just go to the meshing uh, choose the sizing so i don't want to disturb this uh, 100 revisions go to the edge sizing 2 uh, now it has the number of 30 i'll change to 60 so once the 60 is changed, uh, you don't need to change the biasing factor, uh, it remains 10 and just right click and say generate mesh. Okay. So we will get a more proper mesh uh, than the previous case. So now we have uh, 60 segments of splittings. So I will close the system. So you don't need to open the fluent environment. So all you need to do here is just update the mesh from here itself, right click and say update. Okay, so once it is updated, just click on the setup, right click and say generate. So it will update the machine fluent environment and try to resolve the problem once again. So at the bottom, you will get the information, uh, the loading mesh and the model information like that. Usually it takes some time to process the entire results. Okay, so once you get the green color tick icon, so just click on the solution, right click 
and say update. Now the solution is initiated to update the things. Now the solving part is initiated. Okay. So now I get a green color tick over the solution. So you don't need to right click and say generate the results. So because uh, I want to compare the uh, results of both systems. So that is why, so what I'm going to do here is I just drag and drop the results to this results environment or else you can just uh, click over the solution and drag and drop it to transfer to this uh, results. Now what happened here is this solution is also transferred to this result and this solution is also transferred to this results. So now you can compare the both solutions uh, of the uh, 30 cross, so this is 30 cross 100, uh, okay, I'll make it as a text for better understanding. So this is 30 cross 100 mesh and this system stands for 60 cross 100 mesh, okay. So you can use these things, I can compare these things. So it's very simple, just double tap on the results. Now the results is get updated. Okay. So all you need to do here is we already calculate the wall wipe plus and then center line velocity and everything is already calculated. So all you need to just double tap on the, these things. So you can clearly understand uh, how the mesh, I mean wall wipe plus is differ. Uh, according to the mesh sizing and uh, so only the wall y plus will differ because you know that a wall plus is a factor of how the velocity is changes nearby the region if you have a more number of uh, nodes and elements nearby the wall region you will get a more number of accuracy so apart from that the center line velocity is remaining same as it is in the previous cases and the coefficient of screen friction has some little bit of changes but not a too much of things so the green color line I mean uh, the blue color line and the red color line which indicates the uh, two different things. So uh, here also you have the difference, the skin coefficient for X mesh turbulent flow is in the color of red and the skin friction coefficient of turbulent flow is in the format of a blue color. Okay, And double tap on the outlet velocity also which is remaining same but follows the same uh, path. Okay, So this is how uh, you can compare the results of both things okay so that is all for this session so we completed the turbulent flow analysis in our upcoming session we will discuss about the periodic flow in cfd module okay thank you